Okay, uh, welcome all. Here's all the skill points of Ratchet and Clank 1, and I've got an idea for me to sort of watch this. <laughs> so sort of, it's a smallish screen for you. Hello there. Uh, yeah, and we kind of, I've, I've been through them recently, and I know what to do, I think. Skill points? Yeah, skill points. So yeah, basically, for the first one, you just have to hit one of the fast moving ships. It's kind of tough. It's probably easier with the Rhino, but, you know, not going to complain. Uh, the Devastator locks on, so... I... You can do that's so, yeah. Four here. yeah, the Devastator ends up being one of the best, one of the best ones to use for that. Hmm. Uh, for this one, you just don't touch the floor. Fairly simple. I win. Skill and you get a skill point. point. Uh, next one, you have to, I think, take down five ships, maybe three. I think it's three, actually. But I think it's five. I think I think you're right. It's five. Okay. Yeah. So um, as we as we go through these, I'm probably going to ask you how long it took you, or if you've done them or not. Like we can see which ones you have and haven't done. Okay, I'm going to improve the quality. I'm probably not done. I can improve. I swear I can. Quality can improve. But yeah, so uh, next one you gotta get on Big Al's Robo Shack thing between his legs. Cause that's fun for anyone. Yeah, that one that one got me a little confused with how to get it, because I wasn't too sure where to do it, but if you go you have to go from behind. And as soon as you say that people look at you and go, ha, behind you're like, no. <laughs> um, but yes, you must go from behind. Yeah. And yeah, you gotta get to a higher spot. I was I was thinking, oh maybe I just do it from the bit where you where you learn to use the air pad. No, it's not enough. You must strike a pose. No, it's... I love this one just because I get to attack Quark. <laughs> sort of. <laughs> but yeah, that's pretty cool. And then um, I immediately uh went up here because uh there's uh, another skill point you can get pretty much right up here. Because you, you don't need to do it from any specific point, I don't think. Like, any location is fine. But it needs to be somewhat high to get a decent shot. Uh, to destroy Mr. Blimp. Yeah, although you can get... There are plenty of places where you can find blimps. And really the Devastator does a very good job of that. So does this. <laughs> yeah, the busy Bomb's good as well. Hmm. Skill point. Um... Yeah, I sort of forgot to record halfway through this. You're supposed to destroy ten of these ships. I think I only destroy five here. Because that's where the footage began. I was just like... Yeah, well... It's when I was recording, I was just like, Oh yeah, ships supposed to be recorded. Oh dear. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah, when you get your head around a lot of these skill points, a lot of them are very similar um, in terms of what you have to do. Yeah, there's um, a uh, very reinforced tree right there. There are many reinforced trees. There are many reinforced. Yes, there are. <laughs> Vehicle bombardier. Oh yes, this is um defeating the alien queen with um, a wrench only. Um, now I attempted this twice, um, and this is actually the last skill point I got. So um, yeah, but uh, I attempted this twice. The first time I attacked with the wrench, but destroyed the enemies with the blaster. Uh, no, not the blaster, with the um the flamethrower. Turns out you have to attack all the enemies with the wrench as well, so fair enough. But the best way of killing it really is this. Just yeah. Flash and dodge. Works very well. Smash and dodge, exactly. Hmm. These, I mean, the little guys are probably the hardest things you'll fight here. Because the queen is not a problem, you really shouldn't get hit by her. It's just the little guys who team up on you quite easily. I mean, these guys aren't a problem either. I don't really... I don't. Yeah. But, uh, give it a few seconds, you'll see me do my happy dance. Because I got all the freaking skill points in the game at this point. I was like, yes! Yeah, yeah. Oh, right, so... I, I the last one you did. I, I did that one last, because I thought you had to do it in challenge mode. I didn't think you could refight it. But I, I checked anyway, but I did that last. Oh, oh, yes, we had that discussion. Yeah. So skillful, and I was just doing my happy dance. I was like, "Yeah, just don't have to do another skill point." Fucking yes. So I did all of these in one sitting, all of them. Oh yeah, this is the uh, the tricky Mc uh, McMarks. Basically, what you have to do is you have to press R1 flip, L1 flip, R2 flip, L2 flip to do it properly, like so. 
And it's hard. Make, uh, make sure you do a full revolution of each yeah. one as well. Yeah, it has to be. I find it's quite easy, actually. You have to just stick. I've only been able to do it once. <laughs> For some reason. I don't know why. But, uh, yeah. I've done it three times. Okay, I've done it once. <laughs> so, yeah, this one's quite. You'll cool. notice that you're. Because you have to put the, uh, the gas mask on, and this thing can't hurt you. I didn't know you could actually put it on at all. No, I didn't, but I, I figured that's probably the only way of doing it, so mm. that, there you go, that makes that quite cool. Yeah, and there's the skill point, turns it into a chicken. I knew a tank would be a chicken. Now, this is the one you'll want to look at, because you haven't done this yet, have you? This is the... Oh, which one is oh this is you, yeah, this is you doing the... yeah. Yeah, I yeah. did this in 135.40, I think. Um, and essentially, uh, it took me about 20 minutes, it didn't take me as long as I thought it would. Uh, but it's not easy, by any means. Um, but basically, you just have to cut all the corners possible, because that's the only way you can do it. But, I mean, the thing is, if you get the thing like that, if you get the rings and the boost pads, the boost from uh, that you get from tricks won't run out quickly, because it, you'll have the remaining boost from the boost pads. So if you use that to your advantage, you, can, uh, you only need to do tricks, which slow you down, uh, generally anyway. Um, on the huge ramp here, because you'll have more than enough. Um, so it's kind of yeah, I found that. Yeah, I almost, I almost flew off to the left a bit there, but um, it's, it's not easy, but it's not overly challenging. But it is probably one of the hardest skill points, to be fair. It's kind of hard. But yeah, I think. Yeah, I'm you'll get used to it though. I mean, it's just. So yeah, you seem to have cut out. Oh, there you go. Never mind. It's, it was just like you were, you weren't, you weren't talking for a second. I was worried. Oh, oh, sorry. Um, yeah, the connection's a bit, bit, bit bad. So you kind of cut out. So I was just waiting until I heard you again to yeah. say anything, just right. in case I was interrupting you. But yeah, um, it's, it's a. Did you, did you fall off and die? Uh, at the end. Um, some of these had to be taken from Ah, okay. Um, also some of them are sped up, so, uh, this one's sped up. Um, this is actually... Although I did this in two goes, one was because I didn't think of the flamethrower idea when in, within the LP. Um, the problem with this and the later one, um, is that essentially... You, the flamethrower doesn't always... So face the right position if that makes sense it sort of faces the right instead of the left where it wants to go which is really annoying yeah go into yeah. The lines. so you've got to be careful about that but uh yeah but although it yeah i think yeah it did, it did a lot for me often um face the side but it would still get everything even though it looked like it wouldn't it's just a bit a bit off-putting mm. i mean with this one it was uh it's pretty good you find the um, sand mouse thing and then just kill them all. Took me ages to find that. <laughs> I couldn't find him at all. Couldn't find the sand mouse. Wait, which level is this? Oh, yeah, I couldn't. I didn't like that because for me it just didn't work. I just couldn't. It, it wouldn't last long enough to kill them all. Yeah, you don't. You use it to kill two, the two nearest you, and then you get used it. The, then you go back and get it and use the uh, subway travel thing. Um. With this one, I only showed the final, uh, the final destroying thing because I. It turns out that it saves their destruction, so I destroyed most of them within the let's play because it's down the gold bolt route, and I missed a few because I didn't have devastator and whatnot, or I just didn't attack them, and yeah, I just yeah, so that explains how you get it. Um, and I just decided to kill myself because why not? Killing yourself is fun. Uh, next up, you have to destroy five oh, indeed. turrets, which is pretty dull. That's why I sped it up. <laughs> speeding up things is fun. Yeah, there are quite a lot of skill points which require just destroying certain things, and some of them are quite hard to pull off as well. They're a bit. Mm. And uh, I'm not sure I like the repetition element. I think Ratchet and Clank 2 does isn't as repetitious in a lot of the skill points. <laughs> Three definitely isn't. 
But um, this okay, might be cool. You got to attack down the pipe. I know two isn't either, but three really isn't. They're really cool inventive ones. Okay, that one's that's quite fun. Attack something down a pipe. And I think this is probably my favourite one because I hate these enemies. It's just so satisfying beyond belief. So basically, you get the taunter and taunt it into this fence, and it's so satisfying. <laughs> I hate those things with a massive passion. Yeah, cool. the point where I decided to kill my. <laughs> oh god, yeah. You basically have to attack uh, three of the ships with the busy with the busy gun, busy blah blah blah, busy bomb glove thing. And oh my god, they move too fast. <laughs> they move way too fast. I sort of got lucky. So they? But, oh yeah. And then the next one was get all the um the uh mine things. The crates underwater. I was um I was watching Will and Grace while doing this and I remember laughing at Will and Grace and I also remember crying at this because I couldn't find one box and it took me forever. Because I went everywhere <laughs> except the one place where it was hidden. And it was very disappointing. <laughs> Because I was just like, okay, maybe it's yes. down there, but that looks like a dead end. Looks like a place where no, you can't progress through. This is a place you can go, yet there's nothing here. Why is there nothing here? And it just, it confused me a bit. And then, then I, I think I just went back and searched. Maybe I missed something where I went before, and I, I did. And then I was sad. Because <laughs> I wasted, yeah. I sped, non, non sped up. I think this was like five minutes of footage. So it took me five minutes to find this one crate much. Which was So So when you start speeding up things, it's amazing how much time you go through and how quick you go through it. And people yeah. are, people often say, Oh, it can't be that long. You're like, Whoa. It can be you go through like thirty minutes of sped up time in like less than fifteen minutes if you know what you're doing. Mm. Got a skill point, yeah. And um you can't actually hear it, but the uh, sound effect for getting a skill point underwater is different, either that or I glitched it. <laughs> but the what sound you mean underwater was the same up when you came out? No, no, um, no, when I got the skill point, you know it makes a little jingle sound thing. You know it makes a little sound to suggest you got a skill point. Yeah. Yeah, well, it's completely different underwater. Either that or a glitch the sound for that skill point. Ah, oh, right. Don't know what, what it was. There we go. But, yeah. So, uh, this one also within the Let's Play, although unlike the first two events from Battalion and, uh, uh, Aridia, uh, my commentary isn't there very quietly in the background. Uh, <laughs> uh, because after this, I had the original footage and I was so disappointed that I didn't have the original footage of the first recording session. Oh well. Pause will have their trumpets. Yeah, it's just they're just too big. They're just too big files to harry around all the time. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, got a skill point, pest control. And the next one, I believe you have to just destroy three helicopters, which is pretty easy. Pretty, pretty simple, sped it up. Because, you know, there are also reinforced Christmas trees which stop you from attacking them. Which can be annoying, but no, it's a pretty fun sort of skill point, pretty easy. Can't remember what the next planet is. Yeah, it is. What's the next planet? Oh, this! Okay, uh, this is from the Let's Play. I this, left yeah, this. I remember. You have to destroy eight of these. And I destroyed this one within the Let's Play, and once it's destroyed, um you it doesn't respawn it just it stays destroyed and there's the first ship right up there and i blow it up this is within the let's play and i blow it up about now right now now you've got to destroy the other seven there's eight in this level you've got to destroy the other seven around here now the funny thing is because i was watching will and grace i destroyed these seven because i knew they were here and i i didn't know where the other one was and i didn't actually see me get the skill points i wasn't listening to the audio so i didn't see me getting the skill points so what i ended up having to do is I, I looked up where it was, went to it, and found out it wasn't there, so I got really confused, looked, um, and then I just, I think, um, I, I, just, I can't remember how I figured it out, but I had it, I just, I looked at something, and I was just like, oh, right, I feel, no, I, I stopped the footage and looked at the footage, that's what I did, and I, I got very confused, I was like, oh, I got this guy, okay, I just wasted like 30 minutes of my time, cool, yeah, that one you just have to destroy three ships, and this one, ho, 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 it's a bitch! Uh, luckily, it only took me three attempts, I think. 
I'm, yeah, it only took me three attempts. I got kind of lucky. Uh, because this does suck. I don't know if you've done this one. Um, not too sure. Yeah, you basically have to destroy all these street lamps, and it sucks because this route is a bitch. So, and there's like six along it, so it's just, it's horrible. Such a horrible skill point. And then we accidentally missed one. No. <laughs> I made sure that I hadn't. I was very thorough in the guide I was looking at. <laughs> made sure that I didn't miss one. I was very happy when I got it. It's like, yay, I don't have to, have to do that again. Uh, yeah, this is the uh, grind rail where the flamethrower doesn't always connect with the stuff. And it annoyed me because I failed it like four times because of that. But, oh well. You know, could be worse. Could be a very, very horrible mission like, oh, I don't know, collect 4,500 points on a hoverboard track. Oh, this is oh. how you do it. Yeah, this... Now, I sped this up, you will see the entirety of this, and this is how you do it. You literally die here over and over again, because it respawns you, you can get 40 to 60 to 120 points or whatever. This is essentially how mind-numbing it is, but this is how you have to do it. Now, take into account that each time you die, the clock stops. So, whilst by the end of this, I think it's 9 minutes long, the recording was, I think, 15 minutes, maybe 13. So, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, this 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 one sucks. It, don't fuck it up like I almost did. But this is why I actually left it a win because I was I was doing this happily and I screwed up and it sent me forward. So at this point I was just like, okay, I'll wait for the next lap. And I kept screwing up. So yeah, I can't remember how long I last though out screwing up. It might be 1,800 points or so. It's not too bad, but. Yeah, so this uh, this skill point sucks, obviously, for for obvious reasons. Have you done this one yet? No, nope. I I got, got bored halfway through and started going on to Ratchet like two. That's my problem. Yeah, I mean, this but one yeah, I should really get onto some of these. I mean, this one is just long, and yeah, that's if you go too far, you get you skip onto the next one, which is kind of annoying. So. You just gotta work out how to do it. Really, you gotta just figure out how to get back. Which I, I sort of just try and get loads of points, as many points as I can, up until that point. And uh, yeah, I, I fortunately get quite a lot. I think I get up to. I can't remember how much I get up to before I screw up again. But it's it's an, a lot, a fair amount. But uh, yeah, this this one just sucks. It's just long. That's all it is. But yeah. So uh I pretty much completed the game fully, with the exception of one specific trophy. Uh because Insomniac and Idle Minds were high uh when they created the Million Bolts trophy, but yeah. That, uh, oh yeah, do you wanna look at this? I, I screwed up here, right? And it teleported me here! I was like, what no! You cannot do that to me! <laughs> you can't skip me past my trick! So I had to get 100 points before the end, and I was just praying I could just make as many as possible, and I luckily did it, so I was like, yeah, screw that. Uh, this one was... Yeah. This one was tough, um, which I... For us, I forgot to enlarge. Uh, but yeah, this one was tough. It only took me five attempts, I think. It wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. But it really helps to not just move yeah, this... and leave. You've got to stop every now and then. Which you'll see in this. Yeah, this one's called uh, Careful Cruise, actually. It's a real bitch because it's it's easy to move through, but uh, mm. near the end, near the end, you just get you just get nervous and you make a mistake. It's like, for goodness sake. Yeah, it's like Andy Murray's playing at Wimbledon. Oh, he, leave him alone. He did well. I know he did. He was doing so well for a long time though, and then he screwed up and lost his bottle. It's a shame. Oh, I'm well. so glad those spiders don't actually hurt you, and it's just the lasers because I touched the spider and I was so lucky. <laughs> but yeah, once you once you see the rings, you're just like, yes. There is nothing that can stop me. Unless I've been really slow, I cannot lose right now. 
and I didn't, so there you go. Uh, the penultimate, is this a penultimate skill point? I think it might be... yeah. Basically for this... I think it might be the anti penult. You just have to kill them. There is no way you can miss the skill point, and you shouldn't be not killing them, to be fair, just to make sure you're alive. Um, cause you know, I think you can miss this, because there is a segment where you have to go to get the gold bolt, and when you go back through, there is one robot there. No, one it doesn't. guy's robot. That one doesn't count. I think. No, that one doesn't count. It's just doesn't a it? one. Oh, no, it's just Okay, a right, that's that then. You, you, unless you really decide, I don't want to kill the ones in this room, you shouldn't miss any. I mean, I suppose you could not kill the ones in this room. And you could just skip past it, it's not entirely difficult to do that. But at the same time, it's just like, why Why wouldn't you? I mean, it gives you some bolts. And that dog scared the crap out of me, I was just like, yeah, it's gonna attack me. Uh, but, yeah, there's no reason why you shouldn't go for everything. So, I think, is this the last one? No, there's another section. Yeah, this is taken directly from the Let's Play and sped up, like, five times. I just decided to destroy some dogs with a visa bomb. It's pretty fun. Yeah, the Sony Vegas has this um, annoying limitation of you only being able to speed it up to four times the original playback rate. Yeah. Uh, that you can't speed up any more past that. Yeah. Um, so for things like this, it, it's really a pain in the ass. Yeah, that's why um, I was lucky because there is actually a type of Sony Vegas. I can't remember which one it is, but one of them basically allows you to copy the render files. And then, and that allows you. If you copy the render files into Vegas again, it allows you to use the render files as a new video, and you can speed up again. And that's how I was able to speed up the Kingdom Hearts uh, whole playthrough. If if I didn't, if I, that thing didn't exist, I kid you not, it would have taken me. The first one alone would have taken two full days to render, which is something I was not prepared to do because one, my laptop would overheat and die at some point. Or it would just, I, and also I'm not allowed to leave on a night, so it's just like, I wouldn't do that. So, it, I'm so glad that feature existed for one Zony Vegas, which I ended up getting the trial for. Just what to do you mean? You, you drag and drop the .vf files in? Yeah. You can, it, if you, it, no, if you, oh, okay. if, no, if you save, you save the render that you've made, so say you, you render it all sped up once, you save that, then you can plop the save in, and then, you can plop the save in, and then you can just use the save as a whole new file. Then you can speed that up, and then save it again and again and again. Because it's got the original files, it's just a new save. But the version I had wouldn't allow you to do that. But oh, uh, okay. god. oh my god, the uh, the video just my my computer just overheated and died. Oh my god, oh my god. Okay, well that's the end of this video. That was fun, wasn't it? Bye. <laughs> that sucks. <laughs> well then.